Hi everyone, Phil from Tech for Techs. Today we're going to be looking at one of our favourites, which is the Arctic Freezer 34 eSport Duo. It's basically a tower cooler with two fans. And the reason why we're looking at it again is because we've got some adapters for it to allow it to work on the new 1700 socket motherboards, or should I say 12th gen Intel processors. So we're going to see if it's got enough cooling performance to actually cool down an i9 processor. That's the 12900K. If you're interested in purchasing this product, we have links in the description just below. If you click on those links as well, it'll also show you the latest prices online. Are you looking for a great networking solution? Well, Tender has it all. Finding your BT router no longer has the power? Then try one of these from Tender. Hell yeah! Is the Wi-Fi on your laptop not working and you need a discreet solution? Well, then get this from Tender. Hell yeah! Finding the kids can't get Wi-Fi in the bedroom and they're making your life miserable? Well, you need to get one of these from Tender. Oh, hell yeah! Looking for a low cost solution to get internet into your home office? Then you need to get some of these from Tender. Hell yeah! For all your networking needs, trust Tender. Hell yeah! We've got several test systems set up for doing testing, depending on the test, depends on the system we use. The specifications will be on top of the slides and in the description below. We set all fan speeds at either 50% or 100% and do not use the auto mode. This is so we get consistent testing throughout the whole range where automatic usually causes the fan to speed up and slow down and can give some false results. The test systems we use are offline, which basically means they're not connected to the internet, so they won't be doing anything like updates or anything else in the background. We also disable most applications from running, and all the machines we run on are using the same version of Windows, the same version of programs, so there is no inconsistencies between the machines. Okay, in this first test, we check the idle CPU temperature. Compared to the room temperature of 21 degrees, we got 22 degrees on both coolers, which is pretty good, to be honest. Only one degree between the room and the actual coolers. Idle basically means the machine is sitting there for 30 minutes doing absolutely nothing. So nothing to interfere with the actual CPU. So what we have found is the new Intel 12th gen CPUs are very energy efficient under normal and low load. When they do get full load though, they do get very hot and use a lot of power. Bear in mind, we did try all the tests on an i9 processor as well, the 12900K. Unfortunately, it failed on all of them, apart from the idle test where it would thermal throttle. In this test, we load the CPU up to 100% usage using Cinebench for constantly half an hour, with the fan speed running at 50%, just to give you a rough idea how effective the fans are when they're running at lower speeds. The Arctic Freezer i35 unfortunately failed this test. It uh, would thermal throttle within minutes, so that was a failure, where the Arctic Freezer 34 did actually pretty well, considering it is a hot CPU at 78 degrees Celsius. Bear in mind, normally when your CPU is under full load, your fans will be running at 100% speed, but it just gives you a rough idea how well it cools when the fan is only running at 50%. On this test, it's basically the same as the one before, but this time we turn the fan speed up to 100%, so it's working flat out. The Arctic Freezer i35, as you can see, got 84 degrees Celsius, which is still quite hot, where the Arctic Freezer 34 eSports Duo was getting 29 degrees Celsius, which is actually pretty good. That's... Uh, uh, good enough to use on a daily basis if you are using a cooler like that to cool down this CPU. Bear in mind, if you're using an i9 processor, it would struggle unless it was an older generation. 
On this next test, we overclock the CPU. So in basics, we overclock the performance cores to 4.8 gigahertz on all cores. So they were running at that speed constantly. And the efficient cores were running at 4 gigahertz to give you a rough idea. And as you can see here, the Arctic Freezer 34 Esports Duo was able to cool it down sufficiently and keeping it to 77 degrees Celsius. But if we went any higher than that, let's just say up to the 5 gigahertz, uh, it would get very toasty and start failing the test. So it's able to do minor overclocking, uh, but if you are what really wanting to overclock the i7 or even the i9 processors, you really need a decent water cooler to do that. But overall, it's performed very well. So what have we learned? Right, so first things first is the processors. The new Intel 12th gen processors are extremely hot when under full load, but they're also very energy efficient under standard or low loads. So it works either way. So they are energy efficient in a way, but unless you're using them flat out constantly and they can use a lot of power and get very hot very quick. The Freezer 34 Esports Duo did perform very well on our tests. Actually, I didn't think it would pass, at, but it did. It does surprise me. And this is quite an old cooler now in comparison to the i35. But bear in mind, the Esports Duo does have two fans compared to one fan. So it gives it that little advantage uh, with the cooling and the airflow. But overall, I'm very happy with the eSports Duo using on an i7 or below on the new 12th gen platform, uh, where the i35, don't get me wrong, it's able to pass the tests, but it doesn't cool as well as the older Freezer 34 eSports Duo. But again, the eSports Duo is exactly that. It is basically a duo, so it means two fans, and it's the eSports, so that's basically saying that it's the performance model. Thank you for watching this video everyone, it's really appreciated you made it all the way to the end. Please make sure you subscribe, like, comment and even click that bell so you get notifications of new videos and live streams. It does help support the channel and supporting the channel basically means that we can release more content for you and also better quality content going forward. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.